boys and girls, and mums and dads, and everyone who likes to play Sudoku. This is tutorial number 25. And in this tutorial, I'm going to cover some di interesting different things. But before doing so, let me tell you some very important, important announcements. First of all, a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded 19 videos, 24 lessons, and it was called Sudoku for the Young. And if you've got a child in your family, it can count from 1 to 9 and can draw the numbers 1 to 9, that's for them. And matter of fact, it's not just simply for children, but it's also for adults, so the adults tell me. So if you'd like to have a look at it, please go ahead. It takes you step by step, starting with number problems, and then we finish up with, our, with being able to solve really simple Sudoku puzzles. So take a look at it. The best way to find it is to go on to my site on YouTube. If you open up any video, down on the, this side here, the bottom left hand corner, just underneath the video, you'll see the name Sudoku Guy. When you see that, click on it and it'll take you to what I call my channel. And you can see all the videos there, as well as if you also click on playlist, that will show them, show you them as well. And when you do that, you'll come up, you'll come across Sudoku for the young. Well, one more thing, another announcement. Some people have said we'd like to communicate with you more. Well, if you put a comment underneath a video where it says comments, I usually reply to those if I can. And if you can't do that, you can always uh, send a message to me via my Sudoku Guy Facebook page. So that's it for announcements. Let's get on with this interesting lesson, or tutorial really, I should say. A lot of people, when I first talk to them about Sudoku, they say to me, oh, I never even bothered to try that. It looks like you've got to know math, and I was terrible at math when I was at school. Well, it's got nothing to do with math. It's all logic. And uh, you can actually use other things other than numbers. We find numbers are easier to, to use to solve the puzzles, but you could use diagrams, you can use letters. Let's have a look at this. If you look at this, you can see that here are the numbers 1 to 9, but you could also use in place of a 1, an A, in place of a 2, a B, and so on, all the way through. Now, uh, that's letters, of course. Here we have a set of you know, symbols, pictures, things that you probably know. This is a good idea, but I don't recommend this one because it's too complicated. It takes much longer to draw all those things. So, just for fun, I'll be back in a second or so and we'll show you a Sudoku puzzle using letters. See you in a second. Here we are again as promised and guess what what you've got in front of you here is a sudoku puzzle not using numbers but using letters and if you like you can very you're very welcome to make a copy of it on a grid of your own that you've made up and once you've done that see if you can work it out using letters it's not a really difficult puzzle so you should be able to do it so have fun Next time, when we come to Sudoku 26, I'm going to show you some real neat little tricks on how to get rid of little numbers when you've got a difficult puzzle. So that's it for today. Bye for now.